Okay guys, so it's me and Tanner here today. Today we're gonna tell you guys how to organize your tackle. This is how me and Tanner have been doing it, and it's worked perfect for us, making sure like you know, you know where everything is, keeping mm -hmm. yourself organized so that you got more time fishing and less time trying to rig up. Yup, so I would say this is one of the most important things in fishing is organizing your tackle. Because you don't want to be all over the place, but because like most people, like me and Mike, have just tons of tackle. We get everything, yep. so we never miss a beat. If there's fish are using it like this, we have that thing. So we have so much stuff, and we need to know how to organize it. And we watched the video, so now you guys can watch this video. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how I organize my terminal tackle and my unscented plastics. So first, I'll show you my terminal tackle. We'll get that out of the way. So I have the Plano Edge 3700 Terminal Tackle Series. Right. So in here, basically, I just have all my hooks in separate containers. Right. You know, making sure that everything stays organized. I got this box. There will be a review on the channel later on of this box and showing it off in all its glory. But definitely just keep it organized. This box shows it so that, you know, none of your stuff gets mixed with the other stuff. You know, keeping my weight separate from my hooks and everything like that. And now I'll show you my uh, plastics. So these are all my unscented plastics. I have scented plastics from Guggen and other places. Definitely Guggen plastics. You want to keep those in the bag and the box because those are scented and they have a really good scent that fish love. So I'll just show you how I got this organized. I have all my Senkos here, my curly tail and ribbon tails. This is just a smaller version of these with a little smaller tails. This is all my extras. So I have like, you know, creature baits. There's lizards in here, some extra Senkos. These are all, all my creature baits, right? So whatchamacallit, this is like, you know, I got lizards in here, I got things, these are similar to Bandito Bug, that's how I always look at those, and then these on the end are all my trailers. So I have these kind of trailers, this is a tickle tail, I put that on the cycle bait usually, this is a good uh, trailer for maybe a spinner bait or a jig that I use. So definitely just making sure that you always are organized so you know where everything is so you can quickly get your fish in there. <laughs> all right. So this is how I decided to organize my tackle. A little different than Mike, but he also, in his baits that he uses for this same type of thing, he also has it just like mine. So we're gonna start out with my hard baits. So you can see in here, I'll open it up real quick for you guys. You can see basically a lot of stuff with treble hooks, just hard things like this, not plastics or anything like that. Okay, so I label this box hard baits, but since in my bag, you can't see this label, I put little, uh, little colors so i remember hard baits are blue and i used to have it written down here but it just got worn away so then in the same different same type of thing i have skirts like skirted baits see these have skirts these have skirts and then these are my pre-rigged things these shouldn't really be in here but it's fine most meps have skirts so i decided to do that and then so this one if i'm not correct it yeah it's yellow yep and uh i have it i used to have it written here got worn off but this is how I recommend doing it. So you always, you can look down your box, just be like, look down your bag and just be like, yellow, I want the skirts. Let me get that out. So you always want to know as quick as possible, how can I use what at what time? Okay, we're going to go into the last part of my, me and Mike showing our bags and all that stuff. Let's get right into that. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to show you how I have my bag organized and all my tackle in my bag. So if you come over here and you'll see on this end, in this pocket, I have all my Guggen baits. So all you see is a lot of Guggen green. I have a lot of trench hogs. This is just stuff because I always use Guggen baits, always use Guggen soft plastics. So I really just like to have quick access to those so I know what I'm looking for. I use their trailers, everything like that, saucy swimmers. Right, and then on this side, we still have scented plastics that I want to keep in the bag, right? Like these have a scent to them that I want to keep. Other plastics down here, buddies at fishery lures, you know, brazier baits, culprit baits, just stuff that I don't want to have in my main um soft plastic bag i mean box this way i can kind of keep them scented and separate and then in here you'll see this is where i keep all my boxes so just like tanner i have all my tackle organized with my terminal tackle this is my uh skirted baits can't really tell i don't have mine labeled like tanner's and this is my hard baits in my plastics box so really similar to tanner's kind of uh style that he organizes his tackle but definitely you're gonna want a big bag for all your tackle. Saying like me and Tanner, we have a lot of tackle. So we have pretty big bags so that we can always hold it. Definitely for bank fishermen. And you know, if you go out on a boat like us, not too often, definitely have, um, whatchamacallit, a bag. Cause it's so much easier to just put it on your back instead of having to carry it and then your arm gets tired. So you gotta switch arms. So you can have those arms open for your expensive rods. <laughs> okay, so this is my bag. You just saw Mike's. 
So mine's actually a Lunker Hunt. I actually, I really like this company. They make some weird styled baits, but their bag I do approve of. So we're gonna get started. You open this up. Usually I have this thing locked in, but we're not gonna do that today. So you just open this up. This is why I like to have, so I can see the red, the blue, and the uh, yellow. In here, you can also find like a towel. Very mm -hmm. important when you're fishing because you're gonna wanna wipe off your hands. Definitely for pickerel because those things are slimy. They horrible. <laughs> and then uh, you can't really see. I have some more just like important, bigger, bigger tackle like this. Maybe like just like things I can't fit in small pockets. I have all that in there next to my towel. And then if you go down here, this is what I decide to use. So I have the wacky tool. This band can be used for a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is actually different knots you can use um, in a little book. So this is all, it doesn't look like much, but there's, it's stacked in here. It's it's overloading, too much tackle. But uh, then you just close this up. It's very good way. Like Mike said, you wanna have a big bag, but you wanna try to keep it nice and light. You don't wanna have a lot, like you don't want your back to ache, but like this, it looks like you have a lot of stuff, but it's actually pretty light. It's maybe like 10 pounds and that's not a lot. But, um, okay, in this pocket, one of my favorite pockets to show, you got just about everything. You got your pliers. You need these just in case you got a hook, bad fish. You got this, this Guggen scale. I love it. Glows. And then you got next thing. This is very good. Very, very good. So this is actually a hook take router. So you put this part on the hook and you would... It helps so when the uh, like fish are hooked really bad, you can get this out. I had a few incidents where I really had to use this, and it was so important. And then scissors. I like to use this on braid sometimes, and fluorocarbon and mono cuts so easy, better than pliers. You can get a better cut with them. And then on this side, just some more plastics. You can just see in there. I'm not going to take them out. Too much work. And uh, that's going to be it for the bags. Me and Mike will come together and end this video off. All right, that's gonna be the end of the video. That's us showing us showing you guys how we organize our tackle and mm -hmm. how we think is the best way to organize your tackle. And I would definitely take some tips from this and use it in your own way. And uh, I think you're gonna ha find this very, very useful and make it so you can catch more fish. Yep, definitely as bank fishermen, we use bags, but yep. you definitely can use boxes. Cause yep. say if you're always on a boat and you don't really wanna have to just, you just keep it in a box, it'll stay way more mm -hmm. tidy, I think. Because with this, it's always shaking around on your back, yeah. always bumping. So, but yeah, we personally do like this better. We found it. We used to use the boxes, now we use this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, and uh, comment what you like and dislike. Yup, and tell us what we can do better. Okay, fish, fish fears. fears.